Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. I've just got this palette that I've been using to do a sky and I thought hmm, I really fancy doing something a bit more dramatic <laughs> and since I've got some sky colours here I might just go for it. So I want like a grey. Might be a bit watery, I don't know. So I want this grey colour to start with. So I'm using a uh, Da Vinci brush. <laughs> Fancy, nice Da Vinci brush. It's a uh, looks all right. Um, got some more sky. We've got some water. I'm using a really old picture that I made up. I thought, hmm, I quite like that. I might have another go at that. <laughs> a bit more blue in the water. So I'm throwing in some crimson and red. A bit of yellow in there, doesn't really matter to me. Uh, that's interesting. A bit more blue. Kind of using my acrylics like watercolors to start with, really. And build the color up. like a greyish what I call it here that's sort of lighter like that a break of light in the sky Using my finger just to mist it up again a bit, really. And it blended a bit. Just having fun now. <laughs> Get a bit of an angle in that sky. Now, what I want is a bit of a red, a reddish colour for this bit here. This is probably not strong enough really to start with, but get, get it started with this crimson. Bit of yellow ochre in it. Find when you put a bit of yellow ochre in with your crimson, you get more of a sort of a uh, towards the cadmium sort of reddish colour. A 
be even brighter than that, so I might get some. Uh, might try some. Uh, got some vermilion hue. Some vermilion hue. I just pulled that out. Pulled that one out of the bag. <laughs> I'll try a bit of that. Bit of a million hue. This is going to be strong. Turn my brush up there, just give it a turn. Just to get a different effect. Something like that. So while that's drying, I'll start doing the uh, ground, piece of ground, which has got sort of a blue. Bluey greeny colour. That sort of goes down there. Darken it over there. Maybe a little bit of Mars black. I'm using all my leftovers, you see. <laughs> I really fancy painting something else. You know, you get painting and you think, oh, I wouldn't mind trying something else. And I was looking at the pictures and stuff that I got, and I saw this, and I was like, oh, that'd be fun. A bit of red in the ground as well, just to uh, keep things keep things unified, I guess. Do I need to make it obvious that this is not part of the water here? So land on there. that up a bit. I know it's a bit shiny at the moment but it's quite just dark really. And uh, the water, I want to have a bit more of the red and blues in it. to be too light though still. Use my finger just to vest it. Soften it up a little bit. So I quite like that. It's looking different, looking dramatic, which is what I want, something dramatic. Just using the corner of my brush, I'm just gonna uh, a few uh, marks in where I had a few more clouds that are, uh, above this. Okay, so I'll just leave this to uh, dry a bit of this sky and I'm going to do a bit of the water 
so I'm picking up some light I don't want it to be too light though because the sky is going to be the lightest Let's see if keep my paint fairly wet it might work so I want some water imagine it's sort of maybe splashing up there use my finger just to uh, affect it go along there thing is I don't want to do too much in the water but I want it to look like water <laughs> so what I need is a bit more dark to be honest Just darken some of this water a little bit give it some uh, depth I always think with water to get more depth I need dark I don't want it to be so shallow depending on what kind of feeling you want your water to have then you can uh, splash it around <laughs> have the water splashing and stuff um, it's up to you so what I want to do next this should have dried a little bit now I'm gonna put my castle mm -hmm. yeah that's right castle I've got a castle here right there might need to dry this so that the red is dry I'll do the smaller brush as well Little castle right here Actually, I don't mind the way that's uh, doing that. If you use light pressure, you can usually go over the top of paint, like I just did then. lots of ideas when I was uh, just making up castles <laughs> I had lots of different ideas of uh, how how they would go what I need to do really is get out there and paint some castles and that way uh, I can create more maybe I'll do them like that rather than that kind of rooftop Imagine this castle, it's probably been there a long time and parts of it has broken away. Well, I like the idea of the two pieces. Maybe there'd be another one. Maybe there'd be another one behind. One maybe there. Maybe 
there's a building there as well. It's not like that, you can uh, mess around. <laughs> Need that to dry a little bit. Want a little bit of sort of a bluish colour just to go on the top of this bit of land. dark there. Just deepen in some of the colours just to give it a bit better uh, look really. Making it a bit darker in places. I kind of want a bit more detail on the castles, I think maybe uh, more shape or something. like a deck where they uh, watch out for people watch out for boats and stuff Might pull that out a little bit hmm something like that I mean you can do all sorts can't you you can change do all sorts of things. I think that'll do for me on that bit. I kind of want the water to be a bit more splashy. I'm going to add a bit more of this. It's crashing here. rocks there as well. Just liven up that water a bit more. Uh, 
in terms of the water splashing at this. sailing spot and it's splashing up against this as well it's very rocky and very uh, hard to sail which is why they found a good place to put a castle and they could uh, over that side maybe it's it's a way of getting them to go in this side and the water's a bit choppy this side <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like I want to change the castle a bit more. Don't really like those bits, to be honest. Gonna put in some of these. Type roofs. I might do <laughs> just to show that there's some people home. Get a bit of yellow ochre and some colour. Yellow ochre and some white, maybe a bit of red as well. I'm going to put some lights on. Something like that. <laughs> Looks like it's kind of leaning a bit. I'm not sure. It's probably a bit better. So we've got that seam there, and then probably 
off in the distance here there's probably a ship Don't want too much detail though. little bit of uh, mist on my finger <laughs> and I can sort of mist things if I want to like that Yeah, rid of any hard edges and mist away the ship a little bit make the uh, Some of it a bit finer. I just want an indication that there's a boat there. So I think that'll do. <laughs> but you can create whole little worlds like that, just having fun and experimenting and uh Designing your own idea. Which can even have like something flying up here. Looks like a scene out of uh, a certain TV show. <laughs> Maybe it's starting to breathe fire up. <laughs> anyway, well, uh, we'll finish there. So, thanks very much for watching this one, and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.